Good day guys, Vic Freak here, and welcome back to another step-by-step -step Pokemon drawing tutorial. And today we're doing something a little special. We're not drawing one Pokemon, we are drawing three. So about a week and a half ago, at the time of this recording, uh, Nintendo, or uh, the Pokemon company, finally revealed, finally gave us the very first gameplay trailer for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Well, actually, we were given two trailers, a Japanese one and one for the rest of the world, and we were finally given the three starter Pokemon. So, these Pokemon are Rowlet, the grass type, except Rowlet is also a flying type. Um, so, we have Rowlet, the owl, the grass owl Pokemon. We have Poplio, the water seal clown thing. And then we have Litten, a fire kitten. Pretty obvious by the name. So we shall be drawing all three of these Pokemon in this one drawing tutorial. So, here are what you will need. Here are all the things that you'll need to draw them. Today we're drawing them with markers and we're gonna be drawing them pretty simply. No shading at all, just because we're gonna be drawing three Pokemon. If we did shading, it would take a little too long, so we're not, we won't be doing that today. So you need a pencil, a razor, and a thin outliner. And we'll start with Rowlet, because Rowlet is in the middle page. So we'll be putting Rowlet in the center, Litten on the left, and Poplio on the right. That's because Rowlet is the Pokemon that's facing more forward, more towards us. Litten is on an angle towards the left, and Poplio is facing the right. So. That works. So here are the colors you'll need for Rowlet. For Rowlet, you'll need a black, a light green-ish color, a very light, uh, wait no, it's this one, a very light brownish skin color. It's more skin color than brown. And a very light orangey browny color. And for Poplio, you will need Again, the black, as well as uh, blue. You also need a pinkish, purplish color for the nose. Uh, for the tongue, it's a skin colorish pink color. And the inside of the mouth will be um, a purplish, pinkish color. And we'll, um, there's gonna be some white in Poplio, so we won't need a mark for that. Same goes for Rowlet. And Litten has, once again, a lot of black this time, actually. And red, we have a red, gray, and a yellow. So these are all the colors that you need. Quite a lot, but that's because we're drawing three Pokemon instead of one. So that also means that we're gonna be drawing each of them fairly small because we wanna fit them on the page and we don't want to hide the Pokemon too much. We don't want Pokemon to be overlapping each other too much. Um, so Rowlet will be at the front because um, we'll be in front of the other two because it's in the middle of the page. So let's just see how we can make them fit on the page. With Rowlet, we'll put him, like, right in the center of the page. So just make a circle, because Rowlet is just a round owl. It's very round. Just, so just make a circle in the center of the page. So we don't want to make them very big, because we want to fit the other two Pokemon here as well, on the side. Um... We'll also put the feet here, so just make a rectangle like this, and a square here. And with a Poplio, which is on the right here, we'll have, um, so Poplio is a seal, and the shape is a little more complicated than Rowlet, because Rowlet is practically just a ball. Um, so Poplio is, uh, so it has a round head like this, and the body makes sort of a triangle shape like this, like that. Um, 
and we'll make an arm coming down like this. An arm is going up like this. And then just make two ovals at the bottom of the triangle like that. It's pretty simple and we'll just make a line here for the nose as well. Um, and yeah, we, we are actually drawing them pretty small. Um, and actually also make a curve under the head like this. Like that. And we'll also do Litten now. So Litten, you can, um, the head is very, um, it's in front of everything else. So it's fairly large compared to the rest of this, um, image of Litten. So we'll just make the head here. We'll have the leg coming out here and the body like this. Another leg coming here. The back leg, uh, actually make this a little more rounded at the back. Maybe it's a little too long actually. Uh, back leg. And that's about right. And a tail like this. I know it does look a little odd at the moment, but bear with me, it will turn out pretty nicely, I hope. Um, maybe I could make Litten a little bigger. Yeah, I'm gonna make Litten just a tiny bit bigger. Because we wanna, I guess we wanna fill up the page quite a lot. But I don't want any of the Pokemon to be overlapping each other. There we go. And you wanna leave a bit of space at the bottom because we're gonna put the names of all three Pokemon as well. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So obviously Rowlet is pretty large because it's just a bowl um, and the rest look fine. We might want to put the ears like this a little first for Litten. Uh, that seems about right. Okay, and actually we'll also put in the whiskers for Litten. Just make a rectangle just around here I'd say. Make the back leg bend forward a little more. The back leg overlaps the um, whiskers a little. So just like that. That seems right. And we'll make one on the other side as well. There we go. And yeah, I know it looks a little odd at the moment, but please bear with me. It will come out right, I hope. All right, so uh, now we can get on with uh, the proper shape of all these Pokemon. So we'll start off with Rowlet. So Rowlet, just make a big circle from the very start. Like that. And we'll put in the feet as well. So the feet, they're like claws of birds, I guess. Um, just like that, not much to it. Nice and simple with this side, it's facing straight towards us. There we go. Um, okay, so now make a line right at the half um, right in the middle of um, the circle of Rowlet. So the top half is where we'll have the um, we'll have the face, I guess. Um, yep, top half we'll have the face, and right underneath the line, like uh, make an oval like this, um, and move it a little more to the left side. Uh, still quite centered, but slightly to the left. There we go. 
And now, with the bottom, just erase it a little, and we're gonna make two bold, um, two lumps, I guess is the word. And that's where the feet are coming out as well. There we go. Um, yep. And we'll also, uh, now we'll do the, um, uh, the face, I guess. Um, I guess you would call it the face, but, huh, I mean, there's no distinct head, it's all just a big circle. So, make two, uh, uh, oval shapes, I guess, that are overlapping. Um, and again, make it a little more, uh, put it a little more on the left side. I mean, the right side, not the left side. That. Okay, um, that took me a little longer than I thought it would, but, um, yeah, we have the shape now, and, yeah, it seems about right. So, in here, we're gonna put the eyes, uh, also you can, um, yeah, you can wrap out the lines here. I just put a line curved a little, um, to the middle so I could tell where I need to, to put my, um, where I needed to, uh, um, put together two circles, I guess, through the middle there. And we'll also, um, before we put the eyes, we'll put in the beak, I guess. Um, so just in the middle here. Just put an oval. and put a curved line towards the bottom like that and put a little line a little more to the left of the middle of Rowlet like that on top of where we put the curve of the beak. Okay and now we'll also do the leaf shape here, it actually looks like a bow tie as well, which I'm not sure if it was meant to look like that, but it does look like a bow tie. I'm just gonna lower it down a little as well. That's good enough. And put a line through the middle of it. So now uh, just basically make two leaves like this in the shape of a bow tie. Not much else to it. There we go, and just put a line towards the middle like this. That's pretty much it. And I guess we'll do the eyes now. So just basically in the middle of this half of the circle. And another circle in the middle. There we go. That looks kind of creepy at the moment, but I'm sure once we put some color in it, it should look fine. And now we're gonna um, put in, I guess, this separates the wing and the rest of the body, I guess. So just put a curve like this. Here. And another big one down here. And Make it somewhat bigger than the body here. Just slightly bigger, like that. And put a, another one through like this. And basically do the same on the other side.
Okay, he looks a little odd without some color, but I'm sure he'll turn out fine. Alright, so now let's move on to Poplio. To the right. Over here. So, um, I'm pretty sure Poplio and Litten will take a little longer to draw than Rowlet, because Rowlet is basically a ball with a little stuff, like little stuff here and there um, onto it. So, I'm pretty sure excuse me, um, I'm pretty sure uh, Poplio and Litten will take a little longer to draw, but that's alright. Um, let's put the line here, which shows which way he's facing. Like that. So, just make uh, the circle again for the head, because it's basically, it is basically just a circle. And just around here, um, make a water drop shape, I guess, um, which is the ear. Like so. And then here, instead of going back down like a normal circle would, uh, just make it more of a line, like this. And we'll just do the other side here as well. Finish the circle and join back here. And I guess now we'll do the nose and the mouth. So this is pretty big actually. Make a you basically just make a cone shape around yeah just around here, maybe a little more towards the center. Around here, I'd say. So just make a curved cone shape, like so. And then make, and then put a circle at the end of it. Just a ball like that. There we go, it looks, it looks fine. All right, and we'll put in the mouth as well, so just Make a happy face, just a happy mouth like this. And two lines here for what I presume is whiskers, I guess. And we'll put in the eye as well, just a big eye. Here. Mm, that's probably a little too big. And erase a little towards the bottom because actually we're not going to outline the very bottom of the eye. And we'll put in the pupil here, so another circle, and then a circle on top of that. Like so. There we go, he looks nice and happy. Mm. Okay, maybe I, um, okay, I think I regret <laughs> making that smaller again. So, uh, you know what to do, just make it bigger, I guess, so I won't need to explain this again. There we go, that looks much better. And now we can erase the lines here. And also we'll put the tongue in the mouth as well, there we go, easy. Easy, easy. And we'll also put in the other ear, just around here. There we go. And now, uh, put in a, um, what do you call it? It's like a frill thing that goes around the neck. It's kind of like what clowns have, I guess. Um, so just do that here, under the neck. And don't go too um, deep. Don't make it very thick. It's pretty thin. Something like that. Okay. And coming out here is one of his hands. 
and it's probably gonna go behind Rowlet a little, but it's just a little bit, so that's okay. So, cut up, thin. Looks pretty thin as well. Thin, thin. Like that. And put a curved line like this. There we go. And now we'll do the other hand, I guess, because it's in front of the body, or well, slightly in front of the body. Um, so that's just around here. That's where it comes out. And the hand is actually more in front than the body, so it's gonna be lower. When we draw, it's gonna be lower than the bottom of his body. So just like here. Okay, there we go. That's done. Now we can do the body. So, uh, we just move this a little more in towards um, woods, I guess. Um, so just make, we, or, we basically already drew the shape of the body. It's just a cone shape with two flippers um, at the bottom, fins, not flippers. Um, so yeah, let's go in like this, first thin, there we go, that's properly all done, so we can just erase some of these lines that we don't need. And actually, we might just make the mouth a little bigger, because he seems super happy, like, really, really happy. Like that. That's better. And now we can move on to Litten. So, with Litten, we might move it, we might make him a little bigger. So, um... Yeah, I think we're just gonna mm, make him look somewhat bigger. So just like that. Like that. Looks looks better, sort of. Okay, so with Litten, um, we'll start off with the head as well. Uh, so just make a line going down here. And then we got whiskers going, um, becoming a little bigger as we go outwards. And then there's three spikes at the end. There we go. And we basically already have the shape here. So just curve up, curve out like this, not up, and up I guess, but um, make the ears pretty high actually, like this, go in, and then we have some fur coming out, we can see, like this. So with the face, um, just a little lower um, than halfway of the head, like this. Draw a line, and let's draw this here as well. So with Litten's eyes, they're basically semi-ovals, I guess, because if you put two, it's more of an oval than a circle, so like that. They're also pretty big. And we put in the 
eye inside there, the pupil. So just make another oval inside, like this. And we'll do the same on the other side. And then make the um, make a curve coming out of the edge of um, the left side of this eye. It just comes down, curves down, and then here's the nose like that. Do the same on this side, in the middle. Just curves down, and that's the nose. We'll put in. We'll put the little tip of the nose like this here, and a little little mouth doesn't look very amused um, so yeah that's pretty much it with Litten for the um, eyes and now we're gonna put a mark that goes in the middle of his forehead just make a line like this and two overlapping it so it's just basically basic um, it's basically two star shapes like this. And also make the bottom one longer and bottom star shape longer than the top one. There we go, and also curve down from this end of the eye, just where the whisker meets, and a little more on this side as well. And yeah, so now we can put in the inside of the ears, just put a triangle, bottom side curves down a little, like so. Same on the other side. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the head. I'm just gonna rub out some of these lines. There we go. That's pretty much it for the head. And now we can move on to the body and the legs. So we'll have we'll start off with the legs actually over here so start off with this leg on um, on top of um, the other one the we'll start off with the left leg which is fairly long so just make a stick shape There we go, and um, the legs have stripes on it, each of them have two, so just make a line like that, and we'll just put in the stripes like so. There we go, and so now we should be able to move on to the other leg. I'm just gonna make this a little thinner. There we go. So we'll just move on to this leg. Most of it is hidden, like so. But you can see one of the stripes behind it. And you can barely, you can just barely see the heel, like that. And so now we can move on to the body. So you um, just follow the leg um, as we go up. So just keep drawing the leg and it joins with the body and make it a little thicker. And then here's the other leg. 
and some of it is hidden behind the whiskers. Here's the paw. There you go. And same as last time. There we go. And just go up like that. Make it curve inwards a little as we go up. And here, just put them together like that. And then that's where the tail comes out, like so. And there's four spikes at the end of the tail like this. There we go. So that's it with Litten. We are now good to outline, I think. Although first I'm just gonna go wash my hands and if you have some pencil smudges too, you should probably do that as well. Cause if you get smudges, um, sometimes when you get smudges on your fingers and then you put it onto the paper, Sometimes it doesn't come off, so I'll be back in one second. Okay, so now that the smudges are gone, we are ready to outline. So the only part that we do not want to outline is just a little bit. So we don't want to connect the bottom part of the eye for um, Poplio here. Otherwise, um, by the looks of it, yep, everything will be outlined. All right, let's get on to it. All right, so I have now finished outlining, and so now I'm just gonna let this dry for about five minutes, I'd say, and then we are gonna start rubbing out. And if you just finished outlining, I suggest that you wait for a few minutes before start rubbing out, so that once we rub out all the pencil, um, we don't accidentally smudge the outliner, because that there's no way to reverse that, unless you want to use whiteout, which you could, but um, markers don't work well over whiteout and I guess need the pencil. So yeah, just wait for a few minutes and then we'll start rubbing out. Okay, so now that a few minutes... Okay, so now that a few minutes have just passed... Okay, so now that a few minutes have just passed... Okay, so now that a few minutes has just passed, we are ready to move on to rubbing everything out. So as long as your outliner is dry, the um, yeah, the outlined areas are dry, you could just rub over it and it wouldn't come off and only the pencil would. So 
that's all we'll be doing now and then we'll be moving on to the marker and then we should be done Okay, I think this all came out pretty nicely. Although when I was rubbing out, I figured I found, um, I realized that I hadn't drawn that little line there, so I just put that in. But otherwise, everything looks nice. Everything looks good. So uh, we'll start off with Rowlet. We'll start off with coloring in Rowlet. So here are the colors you'll need. We're not going to be doing any shading, so. I'll be doing each Pokemon, I'll be coloring in each Pokemon at once without speaking because it's fairly simple. So, um, the inside of all of their eyes are going to be black except for Litten, well kind of, I'll get to that later. But um, the reason why I didn't fill it in with the small outliner is because it's actually slightly lighter than um, the outline, so with this I could make it look slightly lighter than the outliner, I hope, so that's why I didn't fill it in. But this is just for the outside circle of the eyes, not the inside that's going to be white. Parts that are going to stay white are um, this area, the top part of the beak and the belly. Uh, we are going to use the um, green for the leaf bow tie thing here. I just realized there's still a bit of pencil there. Um, so that's gonna be green. Um, then we have the skin colorish light brown, which is going to be all of this part. And then we have an orangey, or an orangey light orangey browny color, which is going to be for the uh, claws and the bottom part of the beak so that's it so I'll just get on with that now Okay, that's it with Rowlet. So, yep, now we're gonna move on to Poplio. So I think first, um, I'm just gonna show you that, um, uh, I, wait, no. So first, uh, here are all the colors that you'll need for Poplio. Obviously we need the blue. Most of Poplio is blue and I'm sorry guys, but I totally forgot to mention at the start of this video that we're going to be needing a light blue for Poplio, and that's this frill area, this thing. So here are the colors you need, the light blue, the blue, which will be covering most of Poplio, um, uh, the purplish pink for his mouth, and a pink, a light pink, and a darker published pink color. So the um, the light published pink is for the nose, the light pink will be for the tongue, and the darker purpley pink will be for the inside of the mouth. So yes, let's get on to it.
Okay, that's it with Poplio, and it seems that um, I have made a few mistakes here and there. It's because um, it's that uh, when I used my marker and uh, I put it to and I when I colored it in, when I color in with marker, it's it bleeds, it spreads out, and when it reaches, it, when it overlaps, I think is probably. When it go when it goes over the outliner, the outliner spreads out as well, and it's blue. So it makes a blue. It it basically just bleeds around the outliner. So, well, there's an, there's nothing that we can help about that. There's nothing to do. So now we can just move on to Litten. So with Litten, we have the um, most of it is black. So. The black parts are the body, this part of the head, the tail, here, the feet. Um, and the parts that are red are uh, the whiskers, this area, the bottom of the head, the mark on its forehead, and the stripes on its legs. Um, we have the... Uh, um, we have the grey for the inside of the ears. And the yellow and the yellow for the eye here, and we'll just do the uh, inside of the eye first because with this, the color just fades into each other. I'm not sure how that will turn out with these markers, but we'll just try. So the top half of the inside of the eye uh, here is black, so we'll do that. We'll see how that turns out. And then the red, the bottom half is red. So let's see how that looks without the outliner. Okay, I don't think I can make it fade in to each other, but that looks pretty good, I think. All right, so yeah, now we'll just get onto coloring in Litten, and then we should be practically done. So, Litten, Poplio, and Rowlet are complete. So all we gotta do now is write their names, 
but I feel like we should also I I mean I feel like I should also write um, Alola somewhere the Alola starters um, maybe I could do that underneath so uh, or maybe I could put it up the top maybe I'll put it at the top let's put it at the top what color should we write that in hmm I wonder Okay, um, we'll use an orange, because why not? So, at the top, I'm just gonna write Alola. And at the bottom, we'll write each of these Pokemon's names. Well, that's it. Our three Alola region starters are complete. So be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this drawing tutorial and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date to more of my drawing tutorials as well as playthroughs. Right now I'm playing Pokemon White 2 and Pokemon Altair. It is very fun, so be sure to check out those videos and more of my other content, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye!